Hello, and welcome to the This Happened Today in History podcast for February 24th. I am your host, Mr. Miller. This podcast will cover a number of topics that happen on this date in history. Please visit the podcast webpage at thishappentoday.buzzsprout.com. There you can download the notes page, which will help you organize the information as well as develop your own ideas on how these events change the world around us. If you are interested in hearing more, please consider subscribing so you will not miss out on what happens tomorrow in history. Johnny Weissmuller won his first gold medal in 100 meter freestyle in the 1924 Paris Olympics. He went on to win gold in the 400 meter freestyle and as a part of the 800 meter freestyle relay teams. In Amsterdam, in the 1928 Olympics, he won two more gold medals. According to the website Olympic.org, Weissmuller set a total of 28 world records in swimming. His record for the 100 meter freestyle at 58.6 seconds in 1928 was not beaten for 17 years. The current Olympic record was set in 2008 at the Beijing Olympics. At that event, Elaine Bernard set the pace at 47.2 seconds. That's 11.4 seconds faster than Johnny Weissmuller. Johnny did not win as many medals as Mark Spitz or Michael Phelps only because there were not as many options for swimmers at that time. Much of his winning was due to his revolutionary stroke, flutter kick, and head turn breathing. Most of these techniques were new and were developed as time progressed. Following his Olympic success, in 1932 he became an actor and was featured in 12 movies playing the role of Tarzan in Tarzan the Ape Man. In 1920, it was announced on this day that flyers from 18 different nations were planning to participate in the Atlantic flight race. The first place winner of this race was to receive $100,000. The plan was to start the flyers off from either New York City or Atlantic City. From one of those points, the flyers would head south towards Cuba, Haiti, Puerto Rico, and then across the Caribbean Sea to Caracas, and then to Paramabuco. After that, they would fly across the Atlantic to Dakar, and then across the western coast of Africa. After that, they would head northward and would pass Magador and Casablanca. From there, the flight will head across either Spain or Portugal to Belize, and then the French coast and London Channel. The return trip planned would be straight across the Atlantic Ocean. In 1981, an earthquake registering 6.7 on the Richter scale struck the city of Athens, Greece, killing 15 people and injuring over 50. It also destroyed many buildings and towns west of the city. According to a New York Times article from that time period, more than 250 buildings were destroyed and there were almost 200 total tremors. Four hotels in Corinth were leveled as well as the police headquarters. The hotels were unoccupied at the time. Another more serious earthquake took place in September of 1999. The 1999 earthquake only measured 6 on the Richter scale, but was much more deadly and more costly to the country and the surrounding area. You have been listening to the This Happened Today in History podcast for February 24th. I thank you for listening and I hope that you have enjoyed learning about historical events from the past. Thank you today to the following websites for the information regarding the topics. ThePeopleHistory.com Johnny Weissmuller at Olympic.org The 1981 Greece Earthquake article on NewYorkTimes.com. The music used as the background track for this podcast is Americana, created by Kevin McLeod on Acapitech.com. If you enjoyed this information and would like to hear more, please consider subscribing, as this will keep the historical events in your feed in the morning for each day. I hope you have a great day.